Do you have a baby or a toddler where it's an absolute nightmare to brush their teeth? Do you dread toothbrushing time? Are you looking for some type of new strategies and tips for how to make this an easier process? Well, today I'm going to show you what works with our family in this video. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Travis here, aka Dad, and welcome to Dad Done Right, where we do videos about faith and fatherhood designed to encourage educate and elevate healthy families and on this channel you'll find things like tips tutorials reviews and how-to videos just like this one so if you're new consider subscribing and joining the dad done right family as always the links resources and discussion notes are down in the description below so be sure to check those out and today's video is called how to brush a toddler's teeth and some of you may think wow that's really easy why is there a video on this and the rest of you have children and you realize that this is actually more difficult than it sounds some of you may have children that are really easy and you are the exception count your blessings the rest of you are just like us and today we're gonna to talk about this and I'm going to share with you some of the things that work for us it may not work for everybody but this is what has worked for us and it has helped us get through each night brushing teeth and having our son not put up a fight as much. So let's take it from the top. Step number one, the toothbrush. Every kid, no matter what age, has to have a cool toothbrush, a fun toothbrush. But more importantly, I think it's a good idea to let your kids pick out their toothbrush. Even if they're like one and a half, two years old, they can still identify what toothbrushes look cool and fun to them. Make a trip out of it, go to the store, pull up all the toothbrushes, and let them pick out the one they want. Or get on Amazon, pick out a toothbrush, bring a whole bunch of toothbrushes, and let them point at the one that they want. My son has a two toothbrushes, actually. One that is blue and lights up and it just flashes and he loves that and you click it and it flashes for 60 seconds so that's how long we know to brush his tops then we click it again and that's how long we brush his bottoms and that has become a routine that he has started to understand and is enjoying his other toothbrush is a ninja turtles toothbrush which he also loves but we have two toothbrushes and we rotate them and he so that way that's something different and he really really enjoys that I'll actually put links to those toothbrushes down below if you want to check those out if you have boys they're a real big hit and they're a lot of fun so be sure to check those out but make a trip out of it make it fun make it special step number two toothpaste you want to pick out a yummy flavored toothpaste. You probably already know what kind of things your kids like. If they like mint, if they like bubble gum, if they like strawberry, if they like grape. You probably already know what kind of flavors of things your kids like. So pick one out for them and pick out a brand of toothpaste that you trust. We personally really like Tom's and that's just a, a personal preference we're in no way sponsored or anything by Tom's but we really like Tom's so uh, I would recommend it it's worked out really well for us and it's a pretty popular kids toothpaste and you can swallow it which is super duper important because you don't want a toothpaste that they can't swallow and you don't want a toothpaste that they don't want to put in their mouth because it tastes bad step number three routine and consistency this is so important and you're probably going to hear the words routine and consistency for the rest of your life as a parent because it is so important in just about every area of parenting that I could make up that point in every single video but especially in this it is definitely really important you want to find a time of day that your kids aren't cranky but you want to make it a routine of doing that every single day so they know when this time comes that it's time for toothbrushing even if they don't like it they know it's coming and most will eventually accept it and that's all that you really need is for them to accept it they don't have to love it they just have to accept it so identify times where they're not super cranky and they're more relaxed or entertained by something silly monitors turning off number four now we're going to unpack the difficult one, brushing. Now this is a tricky one because even if you've done everything else that I've said to this point, once you reach this step, it's kind of hit or miss, all bets are off what could happen. I'm just going to tell you what we do and give you a couple ideas to maybe make this a little bit easier. 
So what we do in this situation is I make up silly songs, uh, sometimes about brushing teeth. Sometimes they're just songs that he loves. And sometimes he'll stop me in the middle and say no, and I'll immediately just transition into another song. And he thinks that's hilarious, and he'll kind of giggle and let me continue to brush his teeth. And then I'll just switch to another song, and he thinks that's funny. So he's learned to just kind of say no, and then all of a sudden I'll switch gears into another song. And it just distracts him. And that's kind of the goal in this situation. It's not to get them to just love brushing their teeth. It's to find a distraction or something humorous to get their mind off of what's happening. So for us, it's silly songs. Sometimes we count. Sometimes we watch a funny video on YouTube that he we know he loves. Specifically, you can watch YouTube videos of toothbrushing songs that have counters that count down how long you should be brushing your teeth through the duration of the song. So then you know when to switch from tops to bottoms and so forth. And those are really fun because you can sing along with them and your kids will probably love that. And plus it's just another way to distract them. I also really love to make silly faces. He seems to really like it when I make silly faces. Maybe just because I have a funny looking face, but I'm okay with it because it lets me get my toothbrushing done on my little boy. I've also heard that some people do their teeth brushing in the bathtub during bath time. So they present it in an interesting way. They say, okay, well you're in the tub. Tub time is also tooth toothbrushing time. So they say everyone in the tub has to have their teeth brushed. So they take like all the like ducks and squeaky animals and things that are in the tub and they have to brush their teeth and then eventually Baby's got to get their teeth brushed. And the kids, I guess, think that's kind of fun. And it's fair because everyone's getting their teeth brushed. So that apparently works for some people. It's not something we've had to do yet, but I thought that was a very interesting and clever way to present teeth brushing. When it comes to positioning your child for tooth brushing, one of the things you want to keep in mind is, am I putting too much stress or strain on my child's body when I'm trying to brush their teeth? Because some people try and do it by themselves and some people it's really going to be a two person job. Depending on how your child is, it may not be a one person job as much as you want it to be. So you may want to consider doing something like what some dentists call the knee to knee method where you place the child's head in your lap and then the feet on the other person's lap and you put your knees together and that way one person can control the arms and knows how much pressure and stress they're putting on the child and the other person can brush their teeth and when you put kids on their back they tend to fight more so that's one way to do it but you will need two people for us we've been very blessed that while it was difficult at first we've done the distractions with the silly faces the silly songs and singing that now we can place him on our knee and place our left arm around him and with the other hand actually brush his teeth and with those distractions he actually does really well so if it's difficult now know that it'll probably get better but there are some of you out there that toothbrushing may just be one of those things that is going to be difficult for a while all right guys those were my tips on how to brush a toddler's teeth i hope you liked them and i hope they help you elevate your toothbrushing game if you like this video be sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe for more videos just like this and i'll see you guys in the next video peace whoop -ha! keep thinking these things are going to turn back off on me Routine, 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 routine. Pick out a nice flavored toothbrush that you know that they'll like. Toothpaste, that's right. Flavored toothbrush. Has that been invented? Have I just discovered something amazing?